Welcome to learn more about K patents in application, the brightening of cost through the synthetic sausage casings. This is our first application campaign, and with this, K patent introduces a new way of supporting the sales force. My name is Daniela, and I work as an application engineer at K patents. Why is this a great application for our refractometers? While well, sausages are one of the most produced value added products in the meat processing industry, they have a global market and are produced in over 100 countries. Demand for sausages has increased in recent years, resulting in the development of new technologies and new synthetic sausage casings for larger scale and continuous production. All this created a new opportunity for the K-Patent Sanitary Process Refractometer. Sausages are produced simply by grinding meat, mixing it with other ingredients to create a meat mixture, and by filling this mixture inside skins or casings to give it a distinctive sausage shape. Casings can be natural or synthetic, the natural casing refers to the traditional animal intestinal tract. These offer an all-natural product, but require extensive treatment to make them suitable for consumption and their availability is limited. Synthetic casings were created due to the high demand of sausages and the lack of natural casings. These are made of edible and inedible polymers such as collagen, alginate and nylon, and are available in two types, as a ready-made casings for filling with the meat mixture or as a gel for the co-extrusion technology. This application is related to co-extruded sausages. The co-extrusion method is illustrated here. In co-extrusion, the casing is not filled with the meat mixture. Instead, the casing is created as the sausage is produced. The co-extruder is loaded with the meat mixture and a casing gel. Each of these has their own separate pump. The meat mixture is pumped inside the inner orifice of the co-extruder, while the casing gel is pumped on the surface of the sausage. Now to the actual application. This casing gel contains a high amount of water and it needs to be hardened and coagulated by dehydration in a brine bath. This operation is called brining. The brine is a salt solution and common salts used in this application are sodium chloride, dipotassium phosphate and calcium chloride. The salt content in the brine is very important and it needs to be closely monitored as the color, texture and the overall quality of the sausage product is affected by it. Let's take a look now to the overall sausage process. Meat and meat trimmings are ground and mixed with other ingredients such as spices and emulsifiers. The meat mixture is loaded into the co-extruder along with the casing gel. Sausage is produced pass through the brine bath before it moves on for packing or curing. Curing of the sausage can be done by cooking, smoking or by drying. The brine is supplied from the brine tank and the spent brine is recycled to this same tank. The k patents PR43A monitors the salt content in the brine as it gets diluted. Dilution happens because water transferred from the casing gel to the brine. There are two possible locations for the refractometers, directly in the brine tank to monitor the salt content and give real-time information to the operators on when the addition of salt is required to restore the optimal concentration. Salt is added as a solid or as a solution, and for the cases that solution is used, a second refractometer can be installed in the salt supply tank. This salt solution is to have a concentration above 15% to enhance the brine replenishment process. Now where to find customers? It is important for you to remember that this application is found only at sausage producers with the co-extrusion technology with a synthetic casing gel. Potential customers are, for example, large sausage producers as they use automated equipment. Modern sausage plants as this co-extrusion technology is a fairly new technology and producers of vegetarian and halal sausages as they do not use any animal casings. Please keep in mind two key points of this application, co-extrusion and synthetic casing gel.